How do you make sure you get most out of your home when you list it? No matter what market you're in, here's my take on what you need to do to get top dollars for your home. I will be covering eight tips. Tip number one, decluttering. Before you get your professional photos taken, there are a few things that you need to do to prepare your home and it's called decluttering. When you live in a home for many years, you accumulate a lot of things, right? And as a mom of two, I have a lot of things from the girls and it's time to clean them up. Less is more, especially in the listing professional photos. So there are tips and hacks that I wanna share with you based on each area. Let's talk about the kitchen space. Remove everything from the kitchen island. I repeat, remove everything. So that includes any of your electronic toasters and coffee makers and any other things like decor, maybe a succulent plant. Remove everything from your counter because you want to feature your beautiful kitchen island and your counter. We want to be able to see what the material of the counter space is. So you want to remove everything and really keep everything to the minimum. So for me, I have to remove my rice cooker, I have to remove all these other small appliances like blenders and so forth in order to clean up the space. And hiding these appliances could be a challenge because of course the pantry is also gonna be taken. It's gonna be one of the areas that will also be shot. So if you are gonna be moving these small appliances to the pantry, make sure it looks clean and neat and organized in the pantry. You may wanna put some of these in other storage spaces or in cabinets and just hide them for the professional photos. Bedroom. In the bedroom, make sure you remove all of your personal photos and belongings. Remove things like your phone charger, your headsets, maybe a humidifier or a diffuser like me, or any other things like mugs and books. You just wanna get everything off your nightstand. You just wanna keep it very clean. And then the last area I wanna talk about is the bathroom. Remember to remove all of your toiletries and all of your shampoo and anything that you use within your shower or your bath area. And especially, it's a pet peeve of mine, but for all of our Sotheby's professional photos, this is a company policy, but at Sotheby's, we also make sure that even the toilet paper is off the stand and that's not visible in the photos. Number two, staging. Does your home need professional staging? Does your home have older furniture? Or maybe it's a new home and you don't have any furniture at all. Maybe you've already moved out and the house is vacant and you need staging. So staging really helps buyers visualize themselves in the home, so I highly recommend it. Did you know that 85% of staged homes sold 5% to 23% higher than the list price? It also sells faster as well. I recommend this staging for my seller who had a listing that was $500,000 in Southern Highlands. My seller had older furniture, so what I wanted to do is remove all the old furniture and replace it with more modern and vibrant color furniture so that the photos popped. It was a big transformation. Have a look at this reel here. And within weeks, we were able to get multiple offers and my seller was very happy with the investment that he made on the staging. Recently, I did a staging for a vacant home in Summerlin West. Take a look at the before and after Instagram reel here. What do you all think about the before and after shots? I mean, for me, it's just unbelievable because it's so hard for buyers to really picture what the furniture and everything would look like. So it just makes it so much easier for them to visualize if you have these staging furniture already in the home. Number three, professional photos. You have to use professional photos. Have you seen listing photos of different areas of the house, maybe it's the front of the house or a bedroom where it's completely dark that's been taken by a camera phone. I just cannot believe agents that still do that and that they're okay or even their sellers are okay with having their listing agent and not use professional photos. Professional photos means the world. That is the first opportunity to get and grab your buyer's attention. You want to make sure you have the best lighting. You want to make sure that the home shows well. You want to make sure that you are able to really feature and enhance all the photos that you could use then for marketing collateral. Do you have any idea when the best time of day is to shoot your home? The answer is twilight. Twilight hours really enhances the color and the lighting of the home and it really showcases your home well. When you hire a professional photographer, they know exactly what kind of colors and lightings they need to make sure that space is really highlighted. Number four, drone photos. 
On top of the professional photos, if you have a beautiful home that is in a very nice scenic area, let's say you have a beautiful mountain view, or it's a water view, or in Las Vegas, a strip view, you wanna highlight that with the drone photos so you can really picture your home and you can see the different scenic elements surrounding the home. Fun fact, our Las Vegas strip is equivalent to ocean views. Did you know that? On top of that, if you have a listing that features a beautiful backyard, maybe the home is on a very large piece of land, maybe over a half acre or even over an acre, you really want to have an aerial shot of the home. And I have a beautiful example right here of my current listing in Henderson, where we do have a beautiful listing of a single story home that is on an acre lot that has a beautiful, massive resort style oasis backyard. That backyard features a 45 foot long pool that is surrounded by 65 palm trees. And what's the best way to highlight a backyard like this one with a drone photo? By the way, if we haven't met yet, Konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist, helping you find your new home. And remember, I could help you with all real estate needs, not just in Las Vegas and Henderson, but nationwide and internationally. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you're interested in buying a home this year or next year in 2023. Now let's keep going. Number five, video marketing. Photos are great, but what about video? Did you know that over 80% of marketing online is now video format? If you're not doing long-term video like I am here on a YouTube channel or doing shorter video content on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikTok, you are way behind and you definitely need to leverage the video marketing space. Number six, brokers open and open house. Let's talk about the difference. Brokers open is when you are able to exclusively invite your top brokers and realtors to preview a home before it goes on the market. I usually like to do it a day before, so the brokers and the agents are able to come to my listing, see the listing, and also be able to get some content and capture video for their prospective buyers. They basically have a day in advance to get a preview of the home so that they could showcase it to their prospective buyers. Now, Brokers Open is also a great opportunity to get feedback from these professional realtors and brokers that know what's going on in the market so I could ask them questions. I actually have a questionnaire that I have each of my agents fill out that has a lot of questions listed such as what are the pros and cons of the home? Have I listed the price right? It's really important to get their professional feedback so that I could bring that feedback to my seller and we could talk about that together. Then we have an open house which is open to the public. This is marketed on the listing on the MLS as well as the third party apps and websites such as Zillow and Redfin so all the prospective buyers could check out your listing and see if there's an open house, mark it on their calendar and actually come to the listing and see it for themselves. Open house is a really great opportunity for these prospective buyers as well as nosy neighbors to come check out your home and your listing. And from these open houses, you'd be surprised, but some of these prospective buyers don't actually have representation. They don't have a buyer's agent yet. So they're just maybe in the initial stages of looking around and shopping. And this is an opportunity for me as a listing agent to actually meet these prospective buyers, introduce myself to them, and let them know that if they're interested in a similar home like this one that they've attended today at the open house, I'm more than happy to show them other similar homes in the neighborhood and in other communities as well. Number seven, differentiated marketing. What can you do differently to ensure that your listing stands out? Here in Las Vegas, we currently have a standing inventory of over 8,000 single family homes. How are you going to compete with those 8,000 single family homes to ensure a prospective buyer sees your listing? How are you going to differentiate yourself? Many agents would do mailers such as just listed postcards to the farm. Maybe they'll run some ads on Facebook or other online platforms and kind of wait for the market to react. Now, especially in the shifted marketplace, we need to differentiate ourselves and we need to work with a listing agent that has a bigger reach than just a local reach. 
For me, working at Las Vegas Sotheby gives me an opportunity to reach my listings not only to the local market, but to other feeder markets such as California, Oregon, Washington, and Texas. Those are my top feeder markets, especially for relocation to Las Vegas, as well as globally. So working with a global and a nationwide brokerage goes a long way, especially in this shifted market where you need to differentiate yourself and your listing. One more thing that differentiates us from others at Las Vegas Sotheby's and Sotheby's International Realty is our auction house. Sotheby's is known for our auction house and not only do we auction luxury products and things like jewelry or artwork or cars, we actually auction real estate and our very featured one-of-a-kind listings. Any listings over $1.5 million could be featured in this Las Vegas Sotheby's auction. So make sure you keep that in mind. If you're a seller, if you have a one-of-a-kind listing where you want a global reach, this Sotheby's auction might be the best differentiated marketing strategy that we have. What do you guys think so far? What tips are resonating with you the most? Comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Now let's keep going. Number eight, financial options. In today's shift in market, with growing interest rates now over 7% and listings that are on the market for more days than we were experienced last summer, sellers and listing agents need to be creative when we talk about financial options for our buyers. As a listing agent, you need to advise your seller what kind of seller financing options are available that could be presented to the buyer in the agent remarks or even on the listing so buyers are aware of the different financial options that are accessible for this particular listing. Let me give you a few examples. Seller carry or seller financing. What does that mean? This means that the seller acts as a lender. The seller is the financee of the listing. So instead of working with a mortgage company or a bank and borrowing money, you're actually working with the seller and the seller is going to lend you the money in order to purchase this particular home. This scenario is offered in a case where the seller owns the home outright. When the seller does not have any mortgage or any outstanding debts, they are able to offer this seller financing or owner carry option. Of course, just like any lending company, the seller would then decide an agreeable interest rate. Maybe this interest rate is much more competitive than one on the marketplace. So if the marketplace right now is over 7%, maybe the seller is going to be willing to offer you a interest rate that is 5% or 6%, which is more competitively advantage than the marketplace so that the buyer would want to work with you and work with you to finance the home. Another financing option is called the all-inclusive trust deed and the wraparound mortgage. If you were one of the lucky sellers that scored an incredible interest rates in the last few years, and if you have an interest rate in the twos and the threes, congratulations, and you're able to actually leverage that interest rate and offer this particular financing option. This is where the seller extends a junior mortgage to you, and that mortgage wraps around to the existing mortgage. The seller is able to offer a competitive interest rate such as 5% or 6% and make money off of the buyer. For both of these financial options, there are pros and cons. So make sure you consult your real estate advisor and go over all the pros and cons to see which option is something that you might wanna consider and offering the buyer for the listing. Seller to cover closing costs. I have seen more and more offers where the buyers are asking the sellers to cover most of the closing costs. And that could range based on the price point of the home, but that could be anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 or even $15,000. When you asked me last year if I've seen any offers that requested seller closing costs, absolutely not. We were experiencing multiple offer situations, so why would you even ask the seller to cover any of your closing costs as a buyer, right? But now, the shifted market, there's more room to negotiate with the seller. So I have seen more and more offers where the buyer is asking the seller to cover all of the closing costs. And in many cases, the seller is agreeing to that and covering the closing costs so that there is less out of the pocket money for the buyers. Seller to buy down interest rates. There are programs like the 2-1 buy down where the seller is able to help the buyer reduce their interest rate. For example, the seller is able to make contributions to help with the interest rates. 
They're able to pay to bring down the interest rate from 7% to 5% the first year, and then 7% to 6% the second year to help with the monthly mortgage payments for the buyers. I've been seeing more of this 2-1 buy down program being asked by the buyer and sellers accepting. The biggest takeaway from all these tips is to hire a listing agent that is very savvy and up to date with the current market conditions and understands the different lending and financial options that they could use to really make their listing more appealing for the buyers. Yes, you want to sell your home at top dollars and make the most net income from your transaction, but in today's market conditions, you need to understand that it's a lot more challenging than it was maybe last year in the summer. In order to get that one offer, you need to be more flexible and adapt to the current market conditions. For more videos about home ownership and real estate strategies, make sure you keep watching my playlist. Please like and subscribe and engage with me. I love hearing your comments and feedback. See you on the next one.